So top tip number one is please don't think that you have to digitise everything. I think it's important to remember that whatever you digitise, you also need to manage those digital records and ensure that they're accessible into the future, just as you need to ensure that the original is accessible into the future. So be selective with what you're digitising. Top tip number two is digitise once and do it properly. For example, for our photograph collection, we always digitise the front of the photograph and we digitise the back of the photograph, even if the back has no content written on it. Uh, that way we know that it's being digitised and we know that there's nothing on the back and we don't have to go back to the original. Top tip number three is to use a multi-pronged approach. So digitise systematically and have a plan for what you want to digitise and in what order based on the condition or vulnerability. And then also be systematic in your on-demand digitisation. So for example, with our photograph collection, if a researcher requests one image from a page, we will digitise all the images on that page and that way that whole page is done and we don't need to go back to it. People can come to the archives and research in person. And we also offer a research service for people who are not located in Adelaide or can't access our collection physically.